Hello and welcome to Garage Night. Uh, I am Randy and joining with me today is Jeff. Uh, not here, literally, but uh, in the car in front of me. Today we are in Madras, Oregon, and uh, I did a thing. All right, here's what I, I picked up. It's a 1968 Ford LTD. It's like a big fancy Galaxy. It's got the hideaway headlights that work. You know, they work really well. Uh, you know, they they kind of they kind of just kind of just they kind of just are there. Yeah, but they run off a vacuum system and the. The rod we found is actually too long. It actually, the vacuum system actually works on it, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, um, so we'll we'll shorten up the rod, and those should those should work automatically when the lights come on. Big block 390 C6 automatic. All the fluids are where they need to be. Um, no major leaks from the engine or trans. Uh, just the nine inch rear is leaky. Uh, has mice that have been in it, uh, which is always fun when you get hand fires. Um, Doors shut like brand new. Really nice. It's got the 15 year old Ventura white walls. Pretty slick. A couple love marks. I think Nana 68 might have hit a barn door or something when she was backing in, but. Very possible. Pretty cool. Chrome's good. All the lights work. Body's mostly straight. Oh, very yeah. minimal rust. Yeah, not non existent. The driver's floor and uh, a little spot near the gas doors to rust through. But I mean, for a car from 1968, it's pretty good. It's got the big big hubcaps on it, the full, full wheel hubcaps. It's got a new carpet kit in the trunk ready to go in because the mice got to this one. It's got the really, uh, a really sketchy starting procedure, uh, or I, I shouldn't say procedure. Uh, issue would be the correct, correct term. The uh, battery seems to be a little old and uh, it does have the collapsible steering column, which is awesome. So yeah. that's safety right there. That's good. AM radio that works. It does. I was listening to uh, old country music on the way. That's cool from that they the actually purchase. have some AM stations left. That's There's one. There's what? just the one. But it works. Wipers work. Gauges all work, minus the clock. Hopefully that's uh, an easy fix. Uh, we are full on uh, automatic road killing. discs and discs in the front. Yeah. We're full on road killing at home. I brought a whole trunk full of parts just in case. I brought an extra carburetor, fuel filter, uh, coil. Uh, of course, every stop, tool. Stop at Napa. Yeah, stop at Napa. Uh, Pick up necessary fluids. Yeah, just in case, you know. I don't, did they have type F? They had type F. They had type F, that's amazing. Yeah. So Most places I go don't have type F anymore, so that's good. So it's about 90 miles home, yeah. 80, 80 miles home over the mountain. Yeah, so it'll use at least a tank and a half probably doing that. <laughs> yeah, we just, we just uh, filled it up. Hard to get the car in frame because it's so long. But it's a long walk around the car. <laughs> uh, worst worst case, we got a hitch on the on the Chevy. Yeah, I do have a. I did wire it up for trailer lights. I have mag mag trailer lights, so we have to tow it. Uh, we can, and I've got a hitch. So worst case, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. <laughs> well, let's uh, hit the road, see how it goes. Let's do it. Starting sequence. Got to pull up to get the neutral safety switch. Keep it in park. The battery's a little low. A little gas. 90 starts. That's uh party on, Garth.
All right, we've made it to the foothold of uh, Mount Hood. Uh, car's running like a dream, knock on wood. So far, so good. Uh, coming up out of Warm Springs on 26, plenty of power. What do I, you What do you think following it? I had trouble keeping up a few times. <laughs> it was, I, you were like going up the hill and I was like, oh, I need to give it a little more throttle. <laughs> yeah, the things, the things got, you know, Big block 390 has got plenty of power in it, yeah. uh, just as advertised. And what's just amazing a little is you don't, barrel. yeah, and you don't you don't smell any of the, like the old car, you know, hydrocarbons. It actually runs really good, really clean. I'm yeah. There's no smells inside yeah. the cabin, uh, even though it was smoked, and it doesn't smell smoky. It doesn't smell gassy. It smells musty, like you know, an old car. Yeah. But that's about it. Other than that, the thing's been wonderful. Uh, the C6 is really good, smooth but firm shifts. Yeah. And uh, it pulled, you know, it, it, it's doing 60 to 70 and it's 2,000 RPMs, maybe less. And you don't have to downshift and it just yeah, keeps going. Yeah, on the hills it doesn't care, it just keeps <laughs> going. Yeah. It's, been, it's been good so far. So let's, uh, let's finish the drive up over Mount it. Hood. That'll be the, the real test. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident in it as long as nothing goes wrong. It's not going. It, it's not going to have any problems going up like the Desoto. I'd be worried right now because it didn't have yeah, enough Desoto power. Desoto wouldn't make it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would. Your Desoto wouldn't have made it. So I think this is this, this is going to make it. So this is a good upgrade. Yeah. Excellent. Let's All go. Right, cool. uh, let's get it. Yeah. Here we are, Blue Box Pass, the top of Mount Hood, and you can see maybe you can see behind me the uh, I want to say Charger, but it's the LTD is behind me. I feel like I'm Steve McQueen and Bullet right now being chased by some G-Men. Pretty great little car. Hey, quick wrap up. Got the car back, no problems on the drive. Uh, the accelerator pump or something is not working exactly right. There's a little hesitation off the, uh, off the bottom, but we're working on that. There was a miss at idle, but we've since remedied that just by kind of taking the plug wires off and putting them back on. Um, going to replace the carpet and, uh, you know, change the oil, regular things. Uh, but came back, good to go. Let's, uh, let's move forward.